Master of the Ladder, The Life and Teachings of Rabbi Hudelev Ashlag, by Rabbi Avram Mordechai Gottlieb, translated and edited by Edida Cohen. Preface I give thanks to God with all my heart. I will tell of all your wonders. Psalms chapter 9, verse 2. When I saw the students of the Holy Sage, Rabbi Yehudalev Ashlag, departing this world, I became anxious to preserve what I could of his life and deeds. Learning from the deeds of the righteous is in itself Torah. So I set to the task of compiling this biographical work on the life and teaching of Rabbi Yehudalev Ashlag, known as Baal Sulam. Even before I made this decision, whenever I heard my own teacher, Rabbi Baruch Sholem Ashlag, tell an anecdote of his revered father, I would write it down immediately. Equally, when the older members of the Beit Midrash told of incidents that had occurred in the life of Rabbi Ashlag and in those of his students, or discussed sayings attributed to them, I would take note. However, once I'd made the decision to write this book, I and some of my students went specifically to meet with the pupils of Rabbi Ashlag and their descendants, and we listened to their words over many hours. Through their words emerged a story of lives of fortitude and of holiness, made up of sacrifice and dedication, all of which sprang from the desire to fulfill the will of the Creator, the Holy Blessed One. This book is not about personages who lived in some remote period with whom we have no connection. It is a book about living people, some of whom I had the privilege of knowing personally. And it was from such near acquaintance that I am able to attest to their great spiritual stature. All of them walked the path of serving the Creator. It was a path that Rabbi Ashlag had received from his teachers and which he now passed on to his own students. Rabbi Ashlag's spiritual attainment cannot be simply described, but we get glimpses of it in his writings and through his oral teachings, the ones that were recorded. Undoubtedly, he reached the highest levels of spirituality that a human being can reach in connection with the Creator. Rabbi Ashlag chose to use his great spiritual attainment to teach us how we too may serve the Creator and discover the joy of a true connection with him. My purpose in compiling this book was therefore not solely to write a factual memoir or historical document, but to awaken our hearts. In the shade of the teacher, my teacher was the holy sage Rabbi Baruch Shalom Ashlag, Rabbi Ashlag's firstborn son. Rabbi Baruch Shalom took on the mantle of sage after his father's death. I first came into his presence before I was 15 years old. I remember the first time I saw him. It was on Shabbat at three o'clock in the morning. I went into the room where the lessons were given and already the students were poring over the Talmud Esra Sfirot, the study of the Ten Sfirot. The atmosphere in the room was saturated with holiness and purity. One could really feel it in the air. Rabbi Baruch Shalom entered and sat on his chair. Even before he began to teach, I had the feeling that I could seek wisdom and knowledge of spiritual matters from him. Indeed, the spiritual stature of this holy man of God was pronounced, even before he said a word. When he entered the room, a spirit of great strength entered with him. His face expressed tremendous fortitude. His whole being spoke of determination and decisiveness, of great strength of will, of resolve to establish all the actions of his life according to the will of God. Since then, I have cleaved with all my life and spirit to my teacher, Rabbi Baruch Shalom. He raised me as a loving father and supervised my path with great watchfulness, just as a father watches over his son. He taught me all that I have learned in Torah and gave me the means to understand it. Nothing that I have originates from me. All that I know and understand of the learning of Kabbalah and of how to serve God in practice, I learnt from him. 
Day by day, I saw Rabbi Baruch Shalom, his face filled with majesty. His ability of serving God was really incomprehensible to normal human intelligence. He trod the path of faith uncompromisingly. To tread this path of faith, the faith that transcends the paradigm of knowledge demands great resolve. When we, his students, gazed at his face, we felt an immediate desire to dedicate our lives to God from love. Through the mercy of God, I merited to serve Rabbi Baruch Shalom, and I eventually became one of the students who were closest to him. I spent many hours in his presence, and from this proximity I learned a lot. Sometimes more than it was possible to learn in the study sessions themselves. Being in his presence gave me an understanding in the most concrete way possible of what it means to be a person who truly believes in God. He considered all his ways, his words and his thoughts according to the one criteria, am I in accord with the will of God or not? This was the one single rule to which he adhered throughout his life. In his last year, Rabbi Baruch Shalom related to me more than once the events of his life. He told me of his childhood and of the period after his marriage when he became a student in the Beit Midrash of his great father. He told me of his very deep connection with his father and of his affinity with him. He spoke of the texture of the relationships that the students had enjoyed with his holy father and the relationships between each other. He also told me of the many trials of his life, most of which I do not wish to retell here, but how they strengthened him in his longing for Dvekut with the Creator. It is now clear to me that it was the years that I merited to spend in the presence of Rabbi Baruch Shalom that inspired me to write this book. All the explanations that I have written here spring from the teaching of my teacher, the sage Rabbi Baruch Shalom. I would like to apologise to the reader because sometimes the topics in this book are not polished in a literary sense, for really I'm not a writer. But I didn't want to put this work into the hands of professional writers because however good such writers may be, they are still outsiders and would see things only from an outsider's perspective and I didn't want this. Therefore, I preferred to do this work myself with the purpose of giving the reader, as much as possible, an inner view of our holy rabbis. Naturally, I haven't been able to convey that much of the inner spirit that permeated our holy teachers because these matters aren't easy to pass on. I couldn't pass on the day-to-day -day difficulties of the students in rising before dawn or the difficulties in acting toward their fellow students with love or in deferring to the rabbi. This is a way of life that it's possible to truly understand only when one walks this path in practice. But I have tried as much as I can to pass on the wonderful spirit that ruled in the Beit Midrash of our teacher, Rabbi Hudelev Ashlag, and in that of his son, Rabbi Baruch Shalom Ashlag. I've also endeavoured to clarify their principles and show how they put these principles into practice in every step of their lives. In our generation, to my very great sorrow, the issues of how to serve the Creator have become very blurred. People who are not qualified to do so purport to teach others how to serve God. The truth is lacking from such teachings and the resulting confusion and darkness are very great indeed. I hope that this book will bring about a change in the thought of those who seek to come close to the Holy Blessed One. This is my real purpose in putting these matters onto paper, to show the way of serving God in its true form. I would like to point out that while undertaking this research on the lives of our holy sages, I occasionally came across instances when the sages rebuked their students. I tried to understand the reason for these rebukes and in what way the students had erred as I wished to find guidelines for our own lives. I wanted to understand how to serve the Creator truly without compromise. One must remember, however, that the students themselves were men of great spiritual stature who served God with incredible devotion and self-sacrifice. They were, indeed, of an entirely different dimension from ourselves. Even if we do not measure up to their standards, nevertheless, we may still learn from them. Acknowledgements. I would like to take this opportunity to thank my honoured father, Rabbi Shrag Gottlieb, and my dear mother, Rabbanit Rachel Gottlieb, 
who were faithful messengers of the Almighty and raised me in the ways of the Holy Torah. They did not spare any labour or toil throughout their lives when fulfilling the will of God. May the Holy Blessed One grant them health and much joy from their children, and may they merit to see success in the service of the Creator. May we all soon merit the complete redemption when the Creator's divine light will be manifest to us all. Afa Mordechai Gottlieb, student of Rabbi Baruch Shalom Halevi Ashlag, Kirit Yarim, Israel. The Master of the Ladder, the Life and Teachings of Rabbi Hudalev Ashlag, published by Nahora Press, is available at www.nahorapress.com and all major internet booksellers, as well as being available at many bookstores in the United States and Israel. Yedita Cohen teaches the work of Rabbi Ashlag in private lessons or in small groups over the internet. If you are interested in learning the Kabbalah of Rabbi Ashlag, please feel free to contact me at www.nohorapress.com Thank you.